the launch of the e Naira by Nigeria's central bank in late 2021 was supposed to check the growing adoption of cryptocurrencies in the West African nation. Two years later, the e Naira is still struggling to catch up with other cryptos and digital assets whose adoption rate has surged significantly. The cryptocurrencies are way beyond Nigeria. In terms of volumes being traded, those volumes are much higher. In terms of um, pair-to-pair transactions, in terms of counterparties, you're trading with counterparties across the world. But the e Naira is basically, at the moment, limited to uh, our, our geographic, geographical console, construct at the moment. It's supposed to be a current uh, a form of uh, digital form that should transverse the, 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 the geography of Nigeria, but it hasn't quite achieved that. To increase the adoption rate of the e Naira, the central bank has now given approval to international money transfer operators to use it for foreign remittances as a means to address Nigeria's crippling forex shortage. The Apex Bank also says the e Naira will now support NFC technology that will allow for contactless payments. Users can also restrict payments with enhanced programmability functions, meaning it can be programmed to be spent in specific location or on designated items, including for government aid programs. The angle of remittances and also trying to open up the e Naira to uh, more um, e as uh, fintech related uh, solutions. I think it's a way to go. Uh, but then um, I think we, we would see, I think ultimately um, the important thing is what can people build on the e Naira? Okay, so existing fintech companies, what can they build on the e Naira? So I think that's like where uh, the question is. So they can make all these changes, but ultimately, uh, the, those that will create the final products for consumers and customers to use ultimately are the ones that will determine what they can build and whatever they build on it uh, would determine how much adoption um, the e Naira would uh, take over time. The e Naira adoption rate has been quite disappointing with an IMF report in May saying that about 98.5% of e Naira wallets have not been used even once. The central bank is hoping to also use the digital currency to attain financial inclusion, but is so far falling short. Not even the introduction of USSD functionality into the e Naira has made much of a difference. Because most people can very conveniently make transfers, receive monies, pay for products and services using their banking app that is on their phone, right? It's difficult to begin to unlearn that and try another system. So e Naira is competing with other forms of digital payment. So until we get to that position where uh, Nigerians and uh, our, our citizens can see a, a more uh, robust case use, I think they might not likely um, see any changes, any, any major changes. Nigeria's central bank still has its work cut out to get more Nigerians to adopt the e Naira. It needs to win the trust of young people who are the main users of digital currencies in the country. Some say its decision to restrict the use of cryptocurrencies is affecting its campaign to drive the adoption rate of the e Naira among young people. DG Badimasi, CGTN, Lagos, Nigeria.